Today from the workshop floor, we are going to be getting to the bottom of why everyone is all of a sudden losing it over this one very specific movie set aesthetic. There's some magic here. Hmm. There's some money here too. <laughs> oh my yes. god. I'm I mean, glad we all had this reaction. So I love <laughs> yeah. this movie. Nancy. Nancy, we're on to you. Nancy, we're <laughs> on to you. Okay, so I have been thinking about this a lot ever since I saw it on TikTok, and I'm gonna lead you guys through a little show and tell today, and I think we can discuss on some very fun things. You mean ever since you read it in a book? That's what we're supposed to say when we see something on TikTok. Uh, I read an article. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Okay. There's no title page? The title page comes after. So this is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> Is this, this is what? Sorry, I was no, expecting I, a lot from this bad PowerPoint. Like, no, I'm excited. <laughs> Listen, the critiques cannot start this early, guys. Sorry, no, we're here for the lesson. <laughs> this is the very um, intelligent book that I read the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is her. This is going to mean absolutely nothing to 95% of people who watch this video. But for me, I'm freaking out because I finally figured out the niche of my home aesthetic. It's the Nancy Myers aesthetic. And I don't know if you guys have ever like felt that way too. It's like, I can't put my, my finger on like, what is this one thing that I love? Why do I love it? I don't know, it's just in my brain and I can't explain it. Yeah. I feel her, I do. I, mm -hmm. I agree. So I saw this and I was like, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about, but she's come to her own conclusion. And I'm like, well, who is this Nancy Myers person? I didn't really ever like think about it. Yeah. But I saw this and I was like, I like what you're saying. I feel like you've come to some conclusion. I want to know more. Yeah. I want to know more. So let's let's talk about who Nancy Myers is. Welcome to title page. <laughs> it's hey, Nancy, Queen. Okay. Hey, Nance. This is Queen Nance. And she is a notable director, writer of some of your most favorite classic films. Mm -hmm. Like <gasps> The Parent Trap. I literally just rewatched this and it held up it holds up so much. Does it? It's so good. Like when's the last time you saw it? Like, oh my gosh, decades ago. <gasps> I've seen like clips of it more recently, but I think I watched it for the first time on the bus to Muskoka Woods. Oh. Which is very <laughs> <laughs> GTA. Amazing. <laughs> to camp. She basically watched on the bus to camp. Yeah. <laughs> and that just like released so many core memories because I also went to Muskoka Woods. Okay, yeah. wait, but did you do, do apple and a needle and pierce your earrings at camp? <laughs> or like handshakes on the dock and meet your twin sister at camp? Did you meet, yeah, did you meet your twin sister? <laughs> this is what this whole movie said. I, I wish. I wish. I yes, wish. Were the expectations too high? Like you watch this movie going to camp and then you get to camp and you're like, where's the drama? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While the summer camp is like obviously a main feature of this film, the, the Nancy Myers of it all is really about the two houses that the, the two separate sisters mm -hmm. are from. So we okay. have the Napa Valley house that's at the winery and then we have the London apartment. So we are going to look at both of those and, and discuss. So. Okay, okay. So who is she? Her name's Meredith Blake. She's a publicist from San Francisco. Okay. This is this is the room. Mm. And it's beautiful already. It's giving me like, I don't know, so much childhood. It's also feelings. giving like a little like rich with like with a matching matching. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. True. You know? Yeah, it's always the, the wealthy people that could match like their drapes to their upholstered furniture yeah, right. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's custom, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. that's custom. So let's check out. The London apartment. <laughs> Icon. Ooh. Rashi likes the color. <laughs> um, yeah, the orange. I mean, what do we think? It's not what I would picture when I think of like luxe London flat. Mm -hmm. Right. This is what I've been noticing. Like upon rewatching things like Gilmore Girls, mm -hmm. One Tree Hill, these like late nineties, early two thousands is like it's that homey feel of these colors there's not like a mm. white room in sight i will say white rooms don't read well on camera so like whether that was the aesthetic of the time or not yeah. i also just think that like you know we are all used to shooting in our homes now <laughs> and it's like become normalized but like back then there's a reason why usually you're like you're not wearing bright patterns on your clothing mm -hmm. or like you're not sense. shooting in white rooms. Like, it's just not interesting on camera. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact about this color orange is that the set designer chose it to match Lindsay's hair. Oh, really? oh. Because they really, I think maybe that's a problem they were running into is like this posh london apartment doesn't feel like a child lives there, mm. which one of them does in the story. 
Right? Oh, yeah. Right. In my head, I was like, what do you mean she's visiting for the first time? But yeah, the There's other one places. does. So, so I've there. read <laughs> the theory is that painting it. Did this, you read it? This or? orange. This is a read. <laughs> um, <laughs> was a way to make it feel like one of the Lindsays already lived there and it was oh. homey to one of them. Yo, can we just peek out into that back, like, courtyard patio? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a five and a half. So that's Parent Trap. Okay. We know it well. Okay. I, I could do this one for the rest of the episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna watch the movie. I know what I'm doing tonight. Anyway, sorry. Okay, next we've got Something's Gotta Give from 2003. I remember parts of it. I can't say it's my favorite story of all these Nancy Myrick movies, but um, Diane Keaton there, successful, yes. single woman. She has a young, hot doctor interested in her, but yet her daughter brings home this age-inappropriate boyfriend. Jack hers, Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. And somehow the sparks fly. And she, she might end up <laughs> hooking up with her daughter's boyfriend. And does something gotta give? <laughs> Something's just something's gotta, gotta give. I actually haven't seen this one. But I can't remember if I've seen it or not. <laughs> Okay. You know what a fun fact Anne told me was? Yes. Is that <laughs> Diane Keaton is kind of like a visual stand-in for Nancy Myers herself. Because you see the picture of Nancy Myers on that yes. first slide? I can see it. Yes. I can see it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I do think that Nancy Myers herself admits this. Okay. Um, I think that there's, you know, some of herself in a lot of the movies she makes. As you would. You yeah. write what you know. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Life inspires art. Art inspires life. How does it go? Yeah. Do we get to watch a clip? We do get to watch a clip. Let's freaking go. It's movie night. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Right? Like, let's have a look at this home office. This one I feel like I have stronger feelings towards than Parent Trap. Mm-hmm. It, I think it is a little bit, I don't know. I mean, maybe we just didn't get as many wives in Parent Trap, but it feels like a little bit more designerly. Yeah. But still homey. A slightly newer, slightly newer movie, slightly, too. Yeah. I think there's also something interesting about how a lot of her storylines are, they're supposed to be like an average story of an average American, but then you get a home <laughs> like this. Yeah. And I... Uh, but I don't think it's too, like, stuffy. Like, it goes very well with the characters. She, yeah. her role in this movie, she has, like, become the template of, like, coastal grandma chic. Like, that. <laughs> this yeah, is like that. Yes. Completely. Yeah. This is on the Pinterest board for coastal <laughs> Chic. Coastal chic. Yeah, you've got your soft whites, you've got your nautical blues. Yes. <laughs> it's just so Ah. Like there's so it's so there's so much going on, but it's so simple and I just feel so relaxed looking at it. I agree. As soon as it came on screen, he like walked into the room. I was like, uh, <sighs> Can we that- take a look at how many lamps there are? There are four lamps in this room. <laughs> Where are the cords? I don't know. Cord management. Um, I actually started. I mean, might be five. Because you can see really... four in there, but then there's this one. Oh, you're right. Because that room is that room. Yeah. And I feel like this this room does so well. Like a thing that we talk about or like I am challenged by a lot of the time is like a good room has to have enough in it. But how do you make it not look like mm. crowded Crowd. and cluttered? Mm-hmm. Cluttered, yeah. Because this doesn't. This looks so neat and clean, but there is stuff everywhere yeah. Yeah. it's like perfectly homey yes we have like three i don't know or three and a half candles up here <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. every table has something on it yeah books underneath i think it helps that it's a lot of this like it's a lot of books mm-hmm. you know yeah, and it feels right because if she's an author of some description like it feels right for her to have a lot of books so it's a way to fill up the space make it feel homey but it's not out of character i also really love how the painting Brings in all the color from the books. Yeah. Kind of like just makes all the little pops like feel very cohesive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This oh. is just more from the home that the movie takes place in. This is probably a real home, right? Oh, yeah. I think so. So some of the sets are revealed to be sets. This one, I believe, unless Anne, you want to yell at me telling me I'm wrong. I think this is a real house. Yeah, it's a real house. Sorted. There's some magic here. Hmm. There's some money here too. <laughs> this is right hand like image looks like so like too perfect. Yeah. Is she really using all those plates? Like it doesn't look like there's any rail holding those plates on. It's making me nervous. Clearly this beach is not in earthquake territory. It might be like built into the shelf. Like yeah, the like, 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 it's meant for plates. <laughs> Where Rochelle's like a router has been here. <laughs> yeah, I am getting like more like formal vibes from that dining room on the right. Like they're eating 
in the kitchen mm -hmm. at that table there, but like slip covers on the chairs, yeah. that lacquered dining table. There's the formal dining it's room and the <laughs> informal dining room. Okay, let's move on. Let's see more. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. this is one of my favorite. Movies. Heavy hitter. Heavy I'm glad hitter. we all had this reaction. <laughs> I love yeah. this movie. This is like, even though it's an, uh, well, it's a newer movie, I feel like it's hard that something gets put in the Christmas movie category yeah. as a classic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like this maybe did it, like, I would say. Elf is Elf. there. I knew you were gonna say it's it. It's a new one, but it's allowed to be in my classic holiday film category. Santa Claus 2. Two? As well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the second one? <laughs> wow, I've never seen Becky so shook it. <laughs> Not the first one, the sequel? <laughs> no, 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 as well, as well. Uh, yeah. This movie is great. Yeah, again, for anyone who hasn't seen it, okay, quick summary. I believe, if I remember correctly, two women switch homes yeah. for a week or a season. Yeah, a period of a holiday. Time. A short period holiday. of a holiday. <laughs> the um, and they both end up meeting prospective romantic Partners. interests. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Experiencing a new way of life. One's from yes. California. And that's a one's from the English countryside. Oh. Cotswolds, I think? Cotswolds. Do people? <laughs> Maybe. Could be. Do people actually do this? Because when this movie came out, it seems like the best idea. Like a home swap Weren't situation. Weren't you looking into it? Oh, yeah. Like, but, but it's not a true home swap. It's like stay in my house. It's like yeah. Airbnb, but like private. But it's not like, oh, you stay in my house oh, and I stay in yours. It's okay. like, oh, this collection of maybe hundreds or thousands of people all like Airbnb their spaces, but only to other people that are also in, oh. in the group. In the group, I just oh. feel like I'm too much of a personal gal to be like a stranger come live in my house. <laughs> but but if it's like with the if, exchange, yeah, mind, if their house yeah. is a good enough offer, then I can be convinced. The problem is, mind. where's Danny? Mm. I guess he comes with us. Okay, anyways, let's get into a quick little clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. Where is she? Uh, she didn't tell you? She could have done it. But, uh, huh. as previously <laughs> stated. <laughs> so yes, this is the lovely, quaint little English cottage that she's staying in for the two-week period, and it's perfect. That lamp is weirdly kind of modern. I noticed. I think that this is maybe sort of a trend that... I'm seeing here is that like nothing's too perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. There's always a little bit of something that's a little weird, a little off, a little like not so try hard. Yeah. Also, just like in terms of a movie set, it because he knocks it over, it's automatically like a prop. And so the props department was actually kind of in charge of that. So they could have just like they're like, we just need a lamp. And that like it was how that ended up being that type of lamp. Right, which lamp can as, be properly knocked as to be a lamp. Oh my as god. Yeah, because he's gotta grab it too. So it's like, gotta be a That was a full lamp. action in the script and stuff. So like that was like that lamp specifically is wow. a special lamp. Wow. That's I remember back in my days working in, in set life, I didn't know starting off that certain elements of wardrobe fall into prop category instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So glasses or watches, yeah, they're not wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Because they're a thing someone could, in theory, interact with, whether it's in the script or not, it's prop. Yeah, All I know is yeah. there was a watch I was supposed to be responsible for, but I thought that Ooh. wardrobe had it. Yeah. It wasn't a good day. No, Becky, that's awkward. You live in Because you were in this props. I was doing props, props. yeah. So, not so wardrobe. someone asked me, you know, where's his watch? And I said, it's likely with wardrobe. And they were like, no, wouldn't be. Why would wardrobe have it? And I was like, well, because he's wearing it. And <laughs> apparently it's not what you think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she got fired. No, <laughs> no, I got to keep my job. Yeah. This is the English cottage. There's also another great scene where she's in the bathtub and it's small, but it's so quaint and so cute. And mm -hmm. this exposed brick is everything. It's a deep. Oh my God, look on the floor. It's painted in diamonds. <laughs> Checkered. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why did that sound like a chick sock sound? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The floor. floor. It's, it's painted. painted. <laughs> Look. Oh, oh, oh. On the floor. It's painted. In diamonds. In diamonds. That's just like, that's something that like I see people doing now. It is nice, yeah. So it's so interesting. Though. You're right. I love that. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to be sold. This cottage is not a real place. No. <gasps> it's a set. No. So the, the outside is probably a real place. <laughs> Hold your thought. Purpose? I don't believe it. I literally don't believe it. Oh. oh. So it's a fake outside. It's a fake everything. It's a fake cottage. Why do they need, why do they need was, to do that? I was gonna say, the sink, the sunken roof, 
on that place was perfect. It was perfectly sunken. Perfect. They pre-sunk the roof? <laughs> yeah. They pre-aged that born. whole thing. Wow, they did an incredible job. In only two old. weeks. <laughs> says, well, it's definitely not built to last, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> they built Rose Hill Cottage in only two weeks, including the stone wall, look like it's been there forever. How the F is this cheaper than going and knocking on Stacy and Joe's door and renting the exterior of their house. I think like you just like you get you get control over the environment when you do things like this. You get like it's expensive to rent people's homes also. Holy. We were looking for the cutest, smallest, most English cottage that we could find and we found one actually that belonged to the National Trust, but it was over 4 hours from London and very isolated which would make it more expensive to film since they'd have to ship the crew out there every day. There Answers. you go. There you go. That's Either way, this is so good at like depicting a cottage that we believe has been there for think, years. I think that's more impressive yes. than them just shooting in a cottage. And I can see, like, we know how small a cottage can be. Like, mm -hmm. they, they have to have made it a set. Like, to get all the camera angles and yeah. the right lighting mm -hmm. and everything, like, you need to be able to, like, take away a wall and yes. put the camera there instead. Yes. It's true. It would have been impossible. It's such a tight space. Basically, Nancy Myers works for magic, <laughs> whether it's real <laughs> or fake. She's there. The one girl goes to England, the other girl goes to LA, mm -hmm. and she gets to live in this LA mansion house, which she's used to living in the small cottage. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> also, these lamps, like, these lamps are in everything. <laughs> Wait, can we count? One, two, three, four, five. There's one Six, over seven. Here yeah. we missed. I mean, I'm counting the oh, sconces. sconces. I'm counting the sconces, too. The woman loves her lighting. <laughs> so I love the woman. <laughs> also, this is giving me the exact kind of feeling the the way the bookshelf wall did <laughs> in Something's Gotta Give. Like, yeah. this is a copy paste template. Right. Wow. But again, it makes sense because her character does trailers for movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, whatever you do in life, whatever your thing is, get an entire wall of white, creamy bookshelves and fill it <laughs> with, that, with the matching love. accessories. Yes. Sort of. I'm sure this could go wrong in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is blank. <laughs> okay, that's not a set, right? Love all the Spanish influence. Uh, no. No, it, I believe it's, it's a set. home. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dated, but also it does have that timeless character to it. I do feel it's quite timeless. Also, those lamps are huge. Holy. <laughs> and the night scenes are huge. They huge. got the scale correct. Yes. If You're going to have a California king. Also, if you have not heard about the theory of scale and don't really know what that means, we talk about it in our Ultimate Room Makeover course. Mm -hmm. We'll link that in the description for you. I was actually thinking, should we give people like a little discount? Yeah. Yeah. Viewers of the show? Yeah, viewers are from the workshop floor. If you, <laughs> I'm making this up on the spot. So. <laughs> if it's it. in the episode, it's true. If we've cut it out, it means it didn't happen. But if you use the code <laughs> FTWF yeah. um, for this weekend only, you can get $20 off our course? I like it. I like it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Those lamps are... Oh ah, my god. Wait. How is there a wild card in this? Did you know this <laughs> No. So me as the creator of your presentation today, um, I was told there would be one. I didn't know one and I didn't make it. So well, I don't I get it. Okay. Wow. Well, we have to find out. Everything's a wild card to me. Oh! Check it out. What is it? We have got a never before seen peek inside Nancy Meyer's home. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know this was out there. Yeah, Interesting. No. Interesting. It's a lot more modern less, meaning. Less homey. Mm -hmm. Like, where's all the things? What's, where's the color? What, what's that nook and why is there not a bunch of books in it? Or lamps. Where are all the linen shaded I lamps? I thought you were a writer, Nancy. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm maybe. just wondering, maybe because she's a filmmaker and she travels so much, she wants her house to feel like a hotel. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I travel so much, I'm so tired, I'm always on the go, so I wanted my house to feel like a hotel. And you're because like, I travel so much and I'm constantly living in hotels. Space. It makes sense. Feel very it's cozy. It's really I got inspired. I'm seeing it now. This feels a little bit more true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I love this flooring. It looks like an outdoor tile, but yeah. inside I love it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. We just started with a like <laughs> the wrong photo. Cause this is hitting. <laughs> this is the thing. Lush exteriors. Lived in. Lived in. Like those vines don't grow overnight. No. Mm -mm. They grow over years. This doesn't even need any furniture. It's perfect. Yeah. We got our we got our fabric lampshade. I'm glad she incorporated purple flowers. We saw there's a lot. We did. Those. I was noticing that. Maybe it's the same flower. She's right. her favorite. 
I respect a woman who knows what she likes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing it here. I legit thought that mirror was like a doorway for a second. And I thought, that's a really fun trim you know, around the door. Either way, we could do it on a mirror, we could do it on a doorway. So, <laughs> sorry, does Nancy Myers not have the Nancy Myers aesthetic? <laughs> what? It's giving more like English countryside mixed with beach, beach, beach. side oh, mixed. Spanish. It's like a, it's, yeah, with and a little LA. Of, a lot of LA, California. But oh. modern, more modern than the movies, all the films. That's why I think we're it's having like she mixed disconnect. them all together and then made a movie in 2024. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, this is gorgeous, but this doesn't feel like no. her. Whatever this area is, as, lo as well as that first photo, like, mm -hmm. these feel a little bit disconnected. It's giving villa. It's just too white. Yeah. yeah. It's too clean. There's not, like, I don't believe that someone actually lives there. You know what I mean? Like, what, are you, you going to talk to somebody through that giant plant? No, you're not. Literally, you're not. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh my Nance. god. <laughs> Queen Nance. Nance. That's stunning. Literally, she's like two she, those sailing lights. That's so interesting. Yeah. And she's the track light. Track but, light. Like, she loves lighting. And a wooden beam that's <laughs> painted white. <laughs> Tea. Oh, Tea. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that I a no? No good? No, imagine it was imagine it was wood, like the desk color. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Let us carry on. Now we're moving on to another personal favorite of mine. I love this movie. It's complicated, 2009. Nancy Myers again, writer and director on this, which is why it's so great. Yes, for anyone who doesn't remember the plot of this movie, basically Meryl Streep and Alec Baldwin were at one time married, are divorced now. She's trying to move on with her life. She's redesigning her house, getting an addition built on the house, oh. which for me, I just like, who loves that kind of stuff? I'm like, yes, I would love to watch a movie about you planning your house, please. <laughs> um, but she ends up kind of secretly getting back with her ex-husband and figuring out how that all works. I don't know why I don't remember this movie. It's very <laughs> funny. And complicated. And complicated. And <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> I'm actually not kidding. I'm having an affair. With a married man. <gasps> what? <gasps> okay, I don't know if we need to see this story <laughs> to play out. I was, I was invested. Sorry. I was watching the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Surprise, it's her ex-husband she's talking about. <laughs> it's Alec Baldwin. But this living room is just beautiful. Obviously a much better lit, different mm -hmm. angle, but so cozy. Cozy. That's a cool table. Mm -hmm. That's very now coded. It's it's money. It's money talking. It's really giving money. It yeah. is money, but money. I, but I'm not like I would hate this person. Yes. For, like you know, um, I'm really your friend. Do you hate Sorry. Do you hate everybody with money? <laughs> no, no, no. But it's just some of them, particularly going through some of these like AD tours and stuff. I'm like, why did you do that? Yeah. Like, I we couldn't be friends. Yeah. Some so, mansions like, are like way too glamorous and yeah. out of touch. Exactly. But I'm like, just the reality of the situation. Some people have the money to create a space like this, but it's still homey and welcoming. And I'm like, I'm coming over mm -hmm. for a drink. Yeah. Yeah. So a big part of this movie is the exteriors too, because she's working in her garden a lot and it's just, it's so glamorous. But again, it has that kind of like undone feeling that a lot of the spaces do where there's like moss and vines. It's not so manicured. Yeah. And I love that. Fun fact about this is the, uh, like a lot of movie sets, the outside of the home it's not the same as the inside of the home so the exterior house is um in california but the inside bits that we saw in the living room is in a different house that's in new york oh okay but oh. it's not a set it's not a set though no. interesting uh, this location's outside house sold in 2010 for 10 million dollars it looks like it's kind of on like a compound yeah. property. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you got like a, an estate it's an like estate. a ranch <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> Then another big part of this movie is her kitchen too, cool. which like this, I love this kitchen. It, it looks even better like in the movie mm -hmm. when you see it kind of being like used and lived in. But it's, again, there's so much stuff going on, but it doesn't feel messy. How does she do it? I really like this table runner with the apples. And that's like a pure chef's kitchen. Like that looks mm -hmm. like the kind of behind the scenes kitchen of like a restaurant or something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just the way the stove is like that's like an intense stove yeah very cool yeah i like that her kitchen cart just looks like it could have come i know it didn't but could have come uh -huh, from ikea, IKEA. Yeah. or like marketplace or something like that yeah know? like she just needed that little extra space mm -hmm. for prep and dish storage and mm -hmm. stuff so she got it a lot of these homes actually feel like an like an older ikea showroom in a way because like i feel like ikea's big thing was that like linen sofa cover yeah. couch yeah. yeah that was really affordable and that's in like everyone 
these movies. <laughs> and I guess Ikea maybe was pretty good at making things look somewhat homey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. catalog. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, last oh. movie. Is anyone, like, intimately familiar with this film? I thought The Intern was a one about a Google with... I don't with, recognize this at all, yeah. With what's-his-face. Oh, you're thinking... Of, it's called The Internship, and it's with... Um, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson and who's the other guy that is in every Owen Wilson movie? Stefan something? Steve? Um, Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got short hair and has... You've met him. He talks really fast. (laughs) What? You said that... Yes! Vince Vaughn. Is it Vince Vaughn? I was working at a restaurant and I was just serving and everyone... It was TIFF at the time, which is the Toronto International Film Festival. He came Uh, into the restaurant. None of my coworkers wanted to serve him. Oh. And so they all just went... They were intimidated or why? I don't know. Yeah, they just like most people would want to shy. Yeah, but they we did like it was like kind of a sharing way where we like shared all the tables. So they're like, Rachel, you take them. Yeah, I was like, okay. Yeah, he was a really nice guy actually. Yeah, he like introduced me to his assistant. I think he was with, and then for the rest of the meal, he referred to me by my first name, which I like. That was wow. Didn't have to do that. (laughs) Then also I'm like Vince. (laughs) Vince. Hey Vince. (laughs) Did he do like the Vince Vaughn voice where he's like, you know, he talks like really fast. He's like, he's a lot of big words. He's like, yeah, that is literally Vince. (laughs) Oh, Wilson Vince Vaughn getting internship at Google. Not Nancy Myers written or directed to my knowledge. So what is this? <laughs> um, so the intern, I actually haven't seen this one all the way through, but I like I know it enough. Basically, um, Robert De Niro is an older gentleman who gets an internship with Anne Hathaway. She works at what's what does she do for work? Some sort of I don't I don't again I haven't seen it. <laughs> She's a corporate <laughs> badass working woman who can't seem to find an intern or to help her. And she mm-hmm. you know goes out of the way to like let's try an older gentleman Mm -hmm. as an intern for this very up and coming company see how he does and it's it's very cute oh oh he's the intern he's the intern for her (laughs) we're gonna watch a clip and he goes to her apartment which i believe is in new york for the first time okay we get into the kitchen but honestly this is like you know you can kind of see yeah we we can see even a little bit that the living room is going in the nancy myers direction (laughs) yeah i love that they painted the trim yeah blue color oh (laughs) It's like a steel like blue. That? I do like that. Has someone has someone done that I before? That maybe um, I didn't have the bones of the house to maybe give this <laughs> impact, if you know what I mean. But the vision was there. This is her apartment, which we know we get it. Like this feels right for Nancy Myers. But I have one interesting takeaway: is that when we go to see where Anne Hathaway works, she works in this very like hard loft, industrial, cool space. But even in that, oh. There is a fabric linen sofa. In our striped rug. In our striped, striped rug. rug. Nancy. Nancy, we're on to you. Nancy. <laughs> we're on to you. Nancy, you're not so slick. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah, and so, I mean, I guess it somewhat just goes to show that, like, the Nancy Myers aesthetic is adaptable. Hmm. Even yeah. a hard loft can be Nancy Myers coated. I mean, have we seen a space that isn't worth a million dollars or ten <laughs> that is Nancy coated? No, but this is a good challenge for us. Perhaps on another inferior, inferior interiors. Interior. We'll do a small room Nancy Myers. Ooh, yes, oh, I like that. Okay. Which is where we solve your design issues. Um, we'll put the link in this episode anyways. If you have a space and you want it Nancy Myers style, <laughs> definitely send us and let us know that that's the style you're interested in. Okay, so to conclude, ladies. What's the secret sauce of Nancy Myers? I feel like we've already theorized mm-hmm. like a lot here. <laughs> I mean, is it simple? Like, purple flowers? I mean, that's not true. If, if you don't have purple mm-hmm. flowers, it's not that you don't have the aesthetic. Mm-hmm. But maybe flowers. Flowers were important, I think. Yeah. They brought a lot of color right. into, like, some of the more mm-hmm. neutral spaces. Mm-hmm. So there's two theories that we can discuss. First is, are we all just a bunch of nostalgic bitches here? And because these movies are, like, a lot of 90s movies, early 2000s movies... Is it just like, oh, yeah. these homes remind us of like better times, younger times, yeah. you know? They feel homey. Homier times. Yeah. But some of these movies are newer, so I don't know. That's the yeah. answer. Like, yeah, a lot of them are in like the beginning of the 2000s. Yeah. But, but just because um, the movie is nostalgic to us and we maybe like the movie or haven't even seen the movie, the space feels nostalgic? Mm-hmm. So Especially because, like, the average person probably had that style later mm-hmm. than, like, when... Yes, yeah. cool. things take time to catch yeah. on. Right, so right. the movies were, like, moving on or whatever in their style, but the average person's home probably still reflected yeah. what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Or could it be, perhaps, a slightly more thought out theory, <laughs> is that there is no really heavy, like, branded anything in these sets. Like, there's no, like, designer thing that's, like, although these homes look very expensive and we know they probably are, mm -hmm. like, there's nothing that's, like, to me, over the top, luxe, expensive, like there's not crystal chandeliers, you know what Marnie's I mean? chair. Yes, like it's wicker furniture and a linen couch, you know, and a lamp that could come from Walmart, you know? Right, right. Yeah. So that's it's like non more... nondescript, mm -hmm. hand-me-down, thrifted mm -hmm. collection thing. Collections. Timeless mm -hmm. is a, I would is say a timeless. big word. Timeless. And here's something that Nancy herself has said. I try in my movies to keep them timeless in a way like i dress people in a way that will work in 20 years or 30 years and but yeah it goes back to like she's not trying to make a home that's full of like the trends of the time yeah. mm -hmm. which makes what? it pretty classic okay mm -hmm. well do we like the nancy myers aesthetic like are we do you want this in your house or do we just like the feeling of it is that it it's a feeling i feel like it romanticizes life like every one of yes. the movies makes you want to like live, live that, that life, life in a way so like every room just feels romanticized is like the best word i can think of right now they're also kind of like all love stories too i don't yeah. know about the intern, intern. Well, not internship intern. The intern. <laughs> but when people are like oh this aesthetic like that they're trying to achieve i guess what what do people really mean I, that is my question when we mm -hmm. first started this like what the f do you actually mean when you say i like the nancy myers aesthetic so like i think it means that they like cozy mm -hmm. lived in mm -hmm. like achievable looks mm -hmm. yeah achievable spaces that aren't too trendy that are timeless. timeless everything that i'm totally on board for like the more we can not be jumping on the latest trend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the better well lit. Lamps, lamps on lamps on lamps. Good light. Yeah, Go good yeah, soft lighting. Just coziness everywhere. Okay. What do you guys think? Are we onto something here? Yes. And did we miss any of your favorite Nancy Myers movies? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you didn't know, we are on Pinterest where you can find a lot of photo inspiration for styles as well as photos that we post about our projects. Yeah, and we made a board specifically for the Nancy Myers aesthetic. So it's there if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for joining us today from the workshop floor. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye. Bye.